maybe if I my sewing machine don't want to work anymore. Oh my god! The tears! Welcome to episode five of Next Top Upside Learn. Hi, I'm Helen. I'm Peter. I'm Valerie. From Caracas, Venezuela. San Francisco, California. Mexico City. Johannesburg, South Africa. Detroit. What up, yo? And I am. And I'm. And I'm. I'm the next top of cycler. I'm your host, Angelina of Blueprint DIY, where I teach you how to remake your clothes to be just as unique as you are. It's time to go all over the world and share the stories, the journeys, and the upcycles of other creative people. But there's a twist. This is a competition where each contestant gets one week to complete the ultimate upcycle challenge. You'll vote for the winner, and this season is all about okay. denim. Let's do this. So make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss an episode or the opportunity to vote to crown the next top upcycle. Last week's contestant was Nadia from my hometown in Chicago, Illinois. Her bubbly personality carried her through some tough decisions. Oh no, I need to add something to her because she not she not giving me what I need right now, and she needs to be razzle dazzle and a big time crunch. Gonna have to do some problem solving. In the end, she came out with not one but two really dope pieces. If you missed her episode, definitely go watch it after this one. Now for today's contestant, let's go to South America to meet Aldeve. Para todos nuestros hispanos hablantes. Presión el botón configuración debajo de los subtítulos. Elige la traducción automática. Entonces puedes elegir el español. And for our English speakers, you can also get subtitles by pressing that little CC button down below. Hi, I'm Aldeide Sanchez. I'm 25 years old from Caracas, Venezuela, and I'm the next top of cycler. I lived here my entire life, and my parents are from Caracas as well. I didn't study fashion, it is in my career. I study business and I graduated two years ago, already two years ago. Let that sink in. <laughs> but fashion has been present throughout my life and that's the way I express myself. It's part of my personality and it's important to me expressing myself through my clothing. So having the power to make it yourself is like another layer of personalization or this is mine or this is who I am. This episode of Next Top Upcycle is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Topics include illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. You can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and just get lost in your creativity. I'm currently taking a class about how to make your brand stand out by Liz Azum. I'm really, really loving it. I love how each class is broken down into smaller bite-sized pieces so you can take it as you go as a busy entrepreneur. And there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. And did I mention that it's less than $10 a month with an annual subscription? So if you're ready to take your creativity to the next level, the first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box below will get a free trial of free membership so you can let your creativity run wild. Sewing, upcycling, being in front of my sewing machine, it has a significant role on 2020 because even uh, at, at the beginning of this year has been full of uncertainties. Sewing gave, gives me the control of what I want to sew, what I want to cut, tear, uh, create. It's a, a comfort place, it's a safe place that I needed. So I have a little box with uh, like laces, uh, strings, and things that little by little I've like been stored and if I needed something like new and super specific that I don't have, I go to an everyday Merceria, Merceria like fabric store. My biggest supporter, this is going to be emotional guys, <laughs> but my biggest supporter is my dad. My dad, I call him Melcocha. Melco is my biggest fan, my biggest supporter because he loves me and, and loves my family so much that he's very open to things that he don't know. When I started this hobby, he was so into it that I was so happy. And he bought me my first sewing machine, it's so little, so I could uh, make the things that I wanted to make. And I, I want to take the chance to tell him how important he is to me. <laughs> Oh my god! The tears! Dad 
I know that you are not going to understand anything that I am going to say, but don't worry, I will translate you uh, every word. So I wanted to thank you. Everything that you've done for me, not only for me, but all our family. You are the best listener. You are open to every dream that I have. You support me in the most genuine way. I love you. I I want to know that every success that I have is because of you, because every chance that you have to help me or even listen to me, you are there. And I can always, I can always count on you and you can always count on me. So I love you. <laughs> and well, that's all. <laughs> Are you ready to start the ultimate upcycle challenge? I'm so excited to start this challenge. All right, what are you using for your upcycle piece? So I call a couple of friends and ask for them <laughs> to give me some jeans. So they bring it. This is my first view <laughs> of where they're going to start all sizes or colors. So I'm really excited, kind of overwhelmed, because there's so many. I want to do something so big that I can uh, finish on time. So what do you think you're going to make all of those jeans into? Well, um, I've been sketching some drawings, and I have a, a, like a mood board. My inspiration on my mood board it has a lot of structure. Uh, taking advantage of that structure that Jean has. So I think in volume, I think in uh, very, very strong uh, angles, but I really like the color blocking that we can get these uh, different color jeans. Um, maybe a simple silhouette, but strong. So is it gonna be like a top, a coat, a, a whole outfit? What do you think? So I was thinking a top initially, but if it has to be a top that is higher in the front and, low, and longer at the back. So you can uh, use it as a dress with, with a trousers. If you, if you use a denim skirt, you could use it as a dress. Nice. I don't know <laughs> if, if by Sunday, we'll transform those plans. So what inspired this idea? Like, were you inspired by something or was it the pieces themselves that made you think of, of making what you're going to make? I got inspired by playing with the, with the jeans, putting them into my head, like twisting it, put it like a, like a dress, like a coat. What do you hope to have accomplished by Wednesday when we meet? I hope to decide it like on on rock that what I want to do is stick to them. Is stick to them and the fabric. Because if I wanted to do color block, I need to figure it out a pattern. What what pattern I would like to uh, be shown in the front. So I think that the fabric it will be ready at by Wednesday. Are you ready to get started on your upcycle? I'm ready. I have my many jeans there. So I'm waiting for you to tell me and I'll start. All right. On okay, let mark, me, let me. <laughs> get set, go. Okay. Bye, see you on Wednesday. Hi, uh, this is the officially first day. This is day one. This is my setup. <laughs> trying to be all professional. My friends and co-worker and family and everyone else <laughs> and even neighbors gave me this bunch of jeans. So what I would do is playing with the garment. So I'm thinking about doing a structure top. So what if I do this and this way if I close my eyes I can like picture a vision of what I want to do. I, I I would like to have some sleeves, but maybe in another project. This time I would like to be sleeveless. And it helps if you use something tight underneath so you can see like the clothes and not be distracted by the things that you are wearing because I can imagine 
maybe if I if I tie it, <laughs> if I tie it, uh, this is not long enough. I like the strappiness. Bear with me. This, this is not going to be the final piece, but it's helping me to like restructure it. I like this one. I like the structure that gives on the shoulders. I'm going to experiment a little bit. See you later. I wanted to show you how to use these clips. Usually use on bags. So this fancy clip, I use these clips. <laughs> So professional, I know. But I use this clip because they are stronger than pins. See? See if you like it like that. I like this that the, these pockets are on the front and this line that usually goes back. <laughs> and the, the detail of the waistband, even the tag. Okay, I'm not going crazy, I promise. I tie it. <laughs> with a piece of fabric that I have. Imagine, <laughs> imagine. Uh, this as a turtleneck and this strappy contraction here and the color blocking with the different shades of blue. I know I have to only uh, make one item but I could glue them, <laughs> stitch them like a dress. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You look like a runway model with a, like a bunch of things all bunched up together. So, go. Hello, this is day two. Right now, I'm uh, making <laughs> the patterns of the top of my project. I'm trying to figure out how to move darts because Part of my design involves like a patchwork on the front of the top. I need to move these darts all the way to the top so it doesn't fight with my patchwork thing. <laughs> it's really late, it's 11 p.m. <laughs> right now. So I hope to finish this pattern today so I can sew tomorrow. Hola, hola! This is day three of the denim challenge. Uh, this afternoon I finished the patterns. It transformed itself into a dress, so I think I, I will cut the length of that skirt to make it a top. You can see me on the mirror. Hi! <laughs> the first cut is always the hard part of any project, so this is my weapon. <laughs> This morning we're trying to trying to not waste time and so on the part that the jean layers are too much I'm scared for my needle to break so doing this little by little is going to create stitches without breaking my needle. Alright, I'm not even gonna lie, when she wrapped those jeans crisscross and then had the pockets in the back like a cape I'm shook, like literally, the possibilities are just swirling in my mind. I love her process. Let's check in and see how she's doing. All right, are you ready to show me where you are? Yes, I'm ready. I wanna, I wanna see. You're so loyal to me. Here I have the incredible mystery box of scraps. Uh, this box, I don't really know what it, what is totally in there. My friend gave it to me. Over here I have my uh, box of unfinished projects and here is my first first first. This is the first uh, sewing machine that I use, it's tiny. I, I present to you my cutting space that is my floor. <laughs> yes, this so, is my sewing space. <laughs> so can we see your project? I, I actually saw this this morning but really, really early before going to work. So I'm not proud of it right now because it looks so simple. It looks like a circle skirt. Yeah. You can see the tailings, but I use the border of the jeans to make triangles. Yeah. And then I, I look at it and I'm like, it's so, it's so simple. It's like, it's like I could uh, find this type of skirt anywhere. So uh, before I, I connect, 
I use this hour to kind of play around. So I figured how about uh, like big puffy shorts, big puffy shorts, and do to so the detailing doesn't waste and have a, like a drape top and it will be a jumper. Okay, cool. But my current state of emotional state is like, okay, I'll, I'll make sure that things flow and don't be stressed <laughs> because I'm thinking of zippers and, and I'm make sure that my needle doesn't break. Yeah. What That's kind of needle do you have in your sewing machine? I bought a sewing needles a number 16. Yes. The lady recommended me. Yeah. And this morning when I used it, it was utterly fail. So I use my original needle. I think it's like it's half probably. of that number and oh, wow. work great. Oh wow. Okay, cool. Was to stick with what you're doing then. Yeah, exactly. Even I bought a yin thread and that was oh, yeah. worse. So yeah. simple, simple thread, normal thread, a normal needle. Yeah, a lot of the machines don't like jean thread. Yeah, I know. I know now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have quite a bit of work to do um, before now and Saturday, but I love, I absolutely love the direction that you're going in. That's super cute. I love that idea. I'm thinking if the bottoms are so voluminous and that well, that's what I'm wanted to achieve. I'm thinking like a tight top, but with something like that surprise you in the shoulder, like like half shoulder, and with the oh. uh, sleeves, half sleeves, yeah, shoulder, yeah. half it's sleeves, like, <laughs> like on one side. Exactly one side, so the bottom could pop. I like that idea. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm. I'm going to cut <laughs> this. This skirt definitely. <laughs> okay, so what is your game plan for getting to the finish line? My game plan, uh, first of all, I think I'm going to uh, m make aside the skirt part so it could breathe. And I'll start with the top one. Okay. Uh, I, I, I already did made the patterns, so these are my patterns with upcycled paper <laughs> awesome. and, and this was the original design I wanted to do like a turn neck but with this direction and I think I will modify this right now okay. so I could cut the fabric and uh, I'll, I'll be planning to start that top today and tomorrow probably touch the bottom if anything goes wrong, that was that will be my day of emergencies. Perfect. And, and Saturday will be the uh, styling part. Exactly. Exactly. So it seems like you have your work cut out for you, but I know that you can do it, and I know that you're going to make it amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wow. Um, I can't wait to see it on Saturday. And I'm going to let you go so you can get to work, girl. Perfect. I'm closing this call and ready to cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I will see you on Saturday. Thank you, Angelina. Thank you so much. My honest of day five was patchwork because I decided to make a pieces of line jean to make a, a stripe pattern. Update. This is Friday, uh, 8 p.m. So I have until tomorrow to finish this garment and we are in a situation. I changed my plans. We're having a like a bit of a little bit of a meltdown. Uh, I ha I have almost all the the fabric that I need to make the top and I almost have these shorts finished. So I think I need to pull a all nighter in order to be finished on time okay wish me luck and lots lots of coffee update after my meltdown we have something we have something there i need to sew those darts and i need to ensemble everything but 
we are in a good path now okay moment of truth i need to sew the top part both sides and hopefully we'll see if this top part can fit me 1 a.m and it turns out the bottom part the short part didn't fit so i am trying to make a patch out of uh, a scrap that i had so this is going to be a like a visible patch and it will be a, a pattern when you turn it over so you may be watching all of this upcycling goodness and thinking to yourself how can i make my wardrobe a little bit more sustainable if you just really, really love to shop like me, then just little by little try to make sure that you're buying with intention. You can start incorporating pieces from sustainable brands or even thrifted or secondhand pieces. And no matter where you're shopping, try to buy clothes that are gonna last for a long time. And if you do fall out of love with a piece or it no longer fits, try altering it, upcycling it, or donating it. I have tons of DIY upcycling tutorials for you here from easy all the way to advanced. And if you don't want to DIY, if that's not you, you can always take one of my videos on your phone, find a tailor and have them do it for you. Please subscribe because I really, really think this show should be on TV and we're super close to 200k. So hit that subscribe button and let's get back to the show. Being as real as I can in this process is 2 a.m. and I almost done. I already put the zipper. I put the waistband of a jean as a collar and Tomorrow morning, I'll be finishing the hem and this raw edge. I'm pretty tired, <laughs> but tomorrow we'll see the final results. <laughs> Good morning! The final day finally came. Last night, I told you it was 2 a.m., but it was actually 4 a.m. and I didn't see the clock. Today, we're finally going to finish and we have like four hours <laughs> until uh, uh, I have my call with Angelina I'm so excited I'm so tired if you can see <laughs> I didn't want to to film because I'm really frustrated but my sewing machine don't want to work anymore I don't know what I'm going to do because I need to finish this part I kind of finished this like horrible but I need to finish uh, the bottom part as well I don't know so my dad uh, asked uh, to my neighbors if anyone had uh, a sewing machine and someone did someone let let me use it <sighs> we need to finish this before I get an infarto <laughs> Antes que me de algo. <sighs> we can do this we can do this I need to first and learn how to use this particular machine so thank you thank you thank you to everyone that wanted to help me <laughs> and now let's go oh my gosh sometimes i think sewing machines just really like to get a rise out of us but hooray for the neighbor coming through with the save at the end yes but did she finish now you guys are going to be doing the voting so pay attention and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss an episode voting opens april 24th at blueprintdiy.com all right so let's see her final result so how are I you feeling uh, well, I feel um, happy that it's over and I, I have something to put <laughs> on me uh, because today was a, like a really reality show moment when in the middle of me finishing the garment, my sewing machine broke, broke, broke like any, any time. I, this is the first time that a uh, uh, mess it it broke since i bought it seven years ago so oh, she no. she hit the machine decided today to be kind of a sassy oh no i'm 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, but I, I, I did like a little bit of blog and my voice was, when I heard it, my voice was cracking um, and my family was like, what are we doing now? And we, we, we asked uh, our neighbors, I live in a building, we asked our neighbors if anyone had a sewing machine and one person let me use them and it's so, so old, but it worked and it's finished. Yay. Well, a special thank you to your neighbor. <laughs> Other than that, how was this okay. like, process for you? Well, it was it was hard because of uh, the, the part of making the this project at night. And I, I only work like since 8 p.m. until... 11 and the majority of that, that time was doubting of myself what this is the garment that I will this this no it, what if I have something here or what if I start over <laughs> so I think I lost a lot of time uh, in that period but yesterday was like this the last 12 hours that you have and I slept at 4 a.m. <laughs> wow. in order to be fit. <laughs> yeah, and this morning, it, it's only... That's the thing. I only have two hands, the bottom part and this part, the, the okay. armhole. With the drama, with the sewing machine, the day flew by. <laughs> I'm sure it did. I'm grateful that you did make it and that you are finished. I'm so excited. And I know everyone else is excited, like, on the edge of their seats to see your final result. So we're not gonna make them wait any longer. Let's see your final look in three, two, one. I love that and I absolutely love across the uh, top. This part is called a stripes of denim. The color is actually the waistband of a pan. Yes. So you can see the bar. Yes. Like 99.99% denim. It is so cute. And it's something that I've never seen before. And I'm so glad that you were adventurous and you pushed yourself to do something that you've never done before. Because not only is it something you've never done before, but it's something I've never seen before. And for someone who is fairly new to upcycling and fairly new to sewing, it is such a gigantic accomplishment. Thank you. I'm so proud and the, uh, of all of the time that I, I had to make it, of the doubts of my even my family. I woke up my family. What do you think? What do you think of this? Okay, I'm going to continue. <laughs> okay. So, how, like, how are you feeling about it after all the chaos and craziness? Yeah, yesterday was a very um, rough and tough. A night that was a very big lesson this week. Uh, the amount of time I not lost but invest <laughs> only on on doubting. Yeah, uh, it, it was too much. <laughs> it's a, like a domino effect. I waste time there, and then I was rushing <laughs> to the max, and so. <laughs> Since you have been through this process and you've come out victorious, tell everybody why they should vote for you, Aldeve, as the next top upcycler. You absolutely should vote for me because I have been in this roller coaster of emotions. And um, uh, with the help of my family, of course, I conquered this project i traveled to every station of sold out went through it and this is again an example of simple can be creative can be original 
can be uh, different. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you team out there then? I personally love rompers. Oh, rompers are one of my favorite things. And this one is so cute with the little flare legs. Absolutely love it. So definitely make sure you share this episode so everyone will know to come and vote for her on April 24th. All the t-shirts I've won in this series are in the merch shelf down below. So if you want to support Blueprint DIY, you can go ahead and purchase those. And I have a ton of denim upcycles for you, tutorials on the front, beginner, all the way up to advanced right here for you. So I will see you guys next Saturday morning, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for another premiere of Next Top Upcycler. All right, bye.